2022 edition of how to install free OpenStreetMap maps from openmapchest.org for the United States. Okay, let's go. First thing to note, openmapchest.org, that's where we get this from. Now they got a bunch of countries here, but we're going to concentrate on the United States. Now you could just download a region, which is a pre-made map image that you can drop on memory card. Like if I go to the south, for example, I can just download right here. And you'll see at the very bottom of the screen that it's a torrent file. These are all torrents. You do need a torrent client to download it. But I'm going to concentrate on the big kahuna, the whole thing all at once, the United States, which is download a map for base camp. You cannot just drop this onto a memory card. You have to install it to base camp and then run the map installer yourself. And that's what we're going to do here. Basecamp is available at Garmin.com slash Basecamp. You can go to Google and just search search for Garmin Basecamp. Go to this page, scroll all the way down, and we get the download now. You don't have to register or anything like that. Just go ahead and download it, and then you get Basecamp. Well, ordinarily you see the global map, which is this. I'll get back to this <clears throat> Excuse me, in just a moment. Right, so you download the software, you install it, and you also download the map, and and you should have a 32 gigabyte memory card, I suggest 32, and no more than 32, because that is what older newbies support, a uh, 32 gig card ready to go and formatted. So if it's not, if you have your memory card here in your SD card slot in your computer, you should right click that and format. And for God's sakes, please back up first. If you destroy your computer because of what I've said here, not my fault. I'm just saying that right up front. People are dumb with computers. Don't be a dummy. Back up your stuff. Don't format the wrong thing. Make sure it is the card that you put in your computer. You know what I'm saying. Don't be an idiot. Anyway, so for example, if I I do actually have a little file on here. So if I just right click this and format. And you also do have to make sure it is FAT32, which it will be by default for 32 gigabyte cards and under. The lowest you could go if you have uh, some old memory cards lying around, micro SD cards, is 8. You can go 8 to 32. So if you get, if you have to buy some, for example, and you see a good deal on a 5 pack of 16 gigabyte cards, for example, sure, go ahead and get those. This will work fine. But the bare minimum is 8. So 8 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte, and then just do a quick format, and oh my god, we're going to format. Then we're done. Close. Just bring that back up. And now it's blank and ready to use. And I can confirm that by right clicking, go in the properties. And it is FAT32 formatted. Good. Ready. But not quite because we got to get our Basecamp stuff ready and such. So I have Basecamp open right now. The location of where to install the maps for base camp use. Now I'm going to go to maps and then manage map products here. Now I do have the official Garmin maps in here, but I also have the open map chest stuff, but this is the old one. I'll do the new one here just to show you how it works. If I scroll to the right, this is the location. Now even if you don't have Garmin maps or any maps installed other than the global one, this folder will exist. Program data, Garmin, maps. Even if you have no maps installed that will create this folder, it will be blank. And that's fine because that's where we install it to. So make a note of this. Program data, Garmin, maps. Not the rest of this. You'll see why in a moment. Right. Okay, so here is the zip. This is what is downloaded over torrent. And by the way, this download, yes, it takes a while. Uh, depending on your internet connection, it may take up to an hour. 
to get this four gigs. As you can see over here, it's four, with the exact size of this one. Three point nine, yeah, four, four million, four point two million bytes, four gigs, basically. Now, what I use to handle this is seven zip. So, if you don't have seven zip. Seven zip seven hyphen zip dot org. This is the you don't have to use this. I do just because it's faster. It seems to handle it better than the Windows zip function with a file explorer. So I'm going to be using seven zip for this. This is free software by the way, so you can use that if you like. Okay, so right click actually no before we do this <clears throat> I have to show you that folder. Okay, so this PC and I'm going to my C drive. Now I have the hidden files shown because you have to in order to get to this folder. But let's go turn that off. So, oh, I can't find my program data folder. How am I going to find that? Well, I click the little down arrow over here and then I click on the, it's usually at home, I click on the view tab and then hidden items. I also have file name extensions checked. And then we have program data. OK. Enter there. Look for Garmin. There it is. Look for maps. There, You may not have a bunch of this other stuff. That's OK. The one you want is maps, which will be there after you install Basecamp first. And here we go. Now what I'm going to do is ordinarily on your computer, assuming you just installed it fresh, this will be empty. So I'm going to actually delete the open map chest installation I have now with a shift. Well, actually, you could do a right click and delete, but I do a shift. If I do a right click and delete, that puts it to the recycle bin. So what I do is a shift delete. Do you want to permanently delete this folder? Oh my god. Yes, I do. Do 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 gone. OpenStreetMap has officially been uninstalled the manual way. So now what we got to do is uh, we got to go to uh, where the zip file was and then extract it to here. Yeah, right there. Okay. So I put it under. I, I made a folder called OMC for OpenMap. So here's my zip file. And I right click that and I go to 7-zip and I open it. Now, by the way, if you don't have the right click menu for 7-zip, you can just launch 7-zip manually. You know, I might do that just to show you because you're probably not going to have the context menu. Okay, so you can use 7-zip as a file manager of sorts and then navigate to where your zip file is. So I'm going to go ahead and open this zip just by double clicking. And now notice it has changed to a folder used to be a little zip thing and now it's a folder thing and then what I'm going to do is just drag this in to the program data Garmin maps folder Whoop. and we wait almost there and two seconds left there we go copies it in okay now this is what it should look like at the end of it is that now bear in mind I have the extensions turned on remember I showed those extensions earlier from the file hide menu stuff open map chest United States dot gmap that is it's a folder and then when I go into the folder it shows the product one and etc and so on and so forth that is what it's supposed to look like now I have Basecamp open right now I'm going to close it and reopen it and it should be the April 15 version, and it is Open Map Chess United States 2022 415. If you do not have this menu here, you can go to Maps and then Manage Map Products, and you will see it here. There it is. If you need this menu up here, you can right click anywhere in a blank area if it's not there right click in a blank area and map 
products. It may drop it over on the left, or like I did just with mine. And then open map chest United States. All right. Now, if it's all the way backed up, it's going to look a little weird. Like it'll it it will look blank if you back up too much. You're like, oh no, what happened? It's because I have the uh, map detail set to medium, but as I zoom in, you'll see, yes, all the map data is there. Now, can we fit the entire map set in one map image? No, because there is a 4 gigabyte limit on the... Because you've got to remember that the Garmin's were designed around a FAT32 file system meaning that it will only recognize up to a maximum of, of a 4 gigabyte file. So what you need to do is, for the United States, because it's so large, you have to chop it up and make two of them. So I'm, that's how I'm going to show how this is done. Now, the memory card is already inserted. We did that earlier. It's 32 gig. It's already ready to go. And you can actually see it over here as memory card. Now I can do the maps and then install maps. Okay, and notice it jumped right now. I have my phone plugged in right now, but you obviously don't want to install it to a phone because it won't work. But you want to put it to a memory card for Garmin use. Now if your card is plugged in and formatted, it will automatically show up in the map installer here. And I click continue. And I have the Garmin map in here, but open map chest United States down here. And then I'm going to do is back up. Now this part <clears throat> is annoying. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is an annoying process, and you're going to see why in just a moment. All these things you see here are map tiles. And as you select map tiles, now in order to select, you can either single click and single click again. I'm sorry, no. Single click to select and right click to deselect. So if I select all this and then I right click and drag over all this, it will unselect, deselect, however you want to say it. Now the west coast is larger than the east coast. If I try to do the whole thing by clicking and dragging over the whole thing with the left mouse button, turns red. Nope, over four gigabyte. Can't do it. So I deselect all that, and then what I do is, now I'm going to do the uh, west coast just to show you how far I can go. So, yep, I'll do this up to here, and we filled up about half. Now if I zoom in, this is what these are for. Now unfortunately, I cannot click and drag. You have to use the pan. This is where the annoying part comes in. You have to use the arrows here. It's very annoying to do this. But once you, know, you get used to it, so anyway, I will, all right, I'm right clicking now to unselect all this, just to make a nice straight line, as straight as I can get it. Okay, so I have all of this, and you'll notice it only takes up 2.11, uh, 1.89 gigs. Now if I take that, <clears throat> excuse me, right click, unselect all that, and let's just do the East Coast just up to there. Look how much that takes up. A lot more. The more complicated roads are on the east coast of the United States, which is why it's larger. And you have to, when you're doing this, you have to zoom in tight and get all these areas here to make sure you don't miss anything. Yep, do I have everything? I do. Okay. And then back, back just checking here. You got to check, check, double check. Okay, let's just say I'm satisfied with this. This is the eastern side from middle to east of the United States. We're good. And I'm going to click continue. It's going to install this and install. Now this takes forever. I won't make you sit through, but you should listen to what I have to say for the remainder of this. <clears throat> What this will do is that this is going to create a folder on your memory card called Garmin. And inside that folder is going to be a file called gmapsupp.img, meaning 
GMAP supplemental. Right. But if you intend on installing both sides of the United States, right, you would have it as the first file. You'll, you'll have to rename the first one and then ins run this map installer again. So, for example, you would have GM, what I would suggest doing just to ensure maximum compatibility. As a matter of fact, I'll bring up Notepad just to show you this. Okay, so let me make this a big font so you can really read it. Okay, I'll make it a big old font. G-M-A-P-S-U-P-P-I-M-G. This is, this is the name of the file that is going to be on your memory card in a folder called Garmin. Now what I would recommend to do is you rename this file to G-M-A-P-S-U-P-1.I-M-G. Then run the map installer again. And then that will create another file called this, the same thing as before. Then you will have the entire United States inside the uh, as two map images. And then you can put that, click that card into your Garmin. Then uh, you're almost done at that point. You may have to go to in your Garmin to settings and then map, and then just make sure that the maps are actually selected. A little checkbox. This is in the new V, by the way, or DriveSmart. Drive or DriveSmart. And that, I think that is the entire process. But you'll notice this is not how much is copied to the card right now. That's the index that it's building. It has to build the index first. You'll notice the file copy part is actually kind of speedy. It's the index building that the software takes its sweet time to do. So it's going to do this first. Right. And then it's going to copy the file. And then you go to the memory card and you rename the file to GMAP SUP1. <laughs> then you run this again and you install the tiles you couldn't fit before with the map installer. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it after that. Then you go ahead and put it into the new view. You go to the settings and make sure you have the map selected. That's pretty much it. Now, this is obviously not a straightforward one, two, three process. You got to be nerdy in order to do this. It's just the way it is. This is old school software. It's an old school way of doing it. But the point is the maps are there. You can get them for free. So there you go. Um, could I make this any simpler? No, unfortunately not. There's no simpler way to do this. You may see some... Um, map installers. Eh, the, the problem with using the map installers is that there is no uninstall. Or it's, some of them, I think I may have seen them once, but it's a command line tool, and I'm trying to avoid having you guys do command line stuff. And by the way, to end this, to uninstall, because this is a... Yeah, when it's extracted, we're talking 5 gigs. Now, some of you may have very limited um, drive space. Yeah, it takes 5 gigs, this thing. Could be significant for you, maybe, I don't know. To uninstall these maps. Let's just say you're done. Okay, I installed my maps. I don't need to, I want to keep the base camp software, but I don't want this map stuff in here. I'll just install another one if I need to update a map in the future. Okay, fair enough. You do, like I showed earlier, where you would go in here and just delete the thing. Just just the open map chest map. And for all intents and purposes, it's a completely uninstalled at that point. Just make sure you do a permanent delete. Else it will go to the recycle bin. <clears throat> now you could just hit delete, go to the recycle bin, and then e empty the recycle bin. You can do that too. That works also. And uh, this is just a lot of little files. You saw what happened when I deleted it. You saw what happened when I installed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we're only 21% with the index. Man, this takes a while. So I hope it works out for you guys if you want to install the maps. See ya.